So this small security snip snippet is going to look at one-time passwords and we'll look at the different methods that are around and we'll see that there is an increase in usage of this type of technology. So the methods that we have are to be able to uh, create a function and then we can operate on some sort of message or passphrase and we can pass that to the system so if the system actually knows what the method is then it will produce the same code then what we can do is we can do the same function again the next time that we log in and pass that over and again so each time we can take the fun function of the previous message a key thing is going to be knowing the original function to be able to understand how it's actually hashed. Along with this we can have the concept of a timed message or one time password. So we could define a certain window such as one hour and then we can generate a unique code for that one hour and this would allow a device to log into a system or for a user to be registered. Within the next hour we might have a new hash uh, signature and then so on. So we can vary the time of the window to be able to allow the code to be valid for a certain amount of time and it really depends on the application that's required. So perhaps access to a key resource, high risk resource might only be for a few minutes but uh, a registration period might last for hours if not days. Along with this we could have a counter and if we know the value of the counter so every time that we log in we could increment the counter or it could come from a timed counter so that on the other side if if this was working on the same algorithm then we would get the same value on the other side Okay, so let's look at the different methods for this. And we'll just go into encryption. And then we'll just scroll down until we get to here. Okay, so the first method is fairly simple and it's really just to illustrate the concept. So in this case what we have is an initial seed and then each time round we'll, do, we'll perform a certain function on it, rotate the bits and exclusive or the value so that we can generate different values each time. We can also generate a new seed. and then each time round we can generate a new one-time password. Each time it's operating on the function again and again. So if we just go back, so a method that's been used greatly just now in terms of uh, the second factor authentication on the systems is a timed one-time password so we might generate a new resource or a, a new login entity and then we would send a unique password for the user to be able to log in. So in this case we can see that for the seed of test these are the values so within five seconds we should be able to generate a new one so we can't generate one until the five seconds is up. So each time with inside that window that is the password that's actually valid. Okay, so we've got to wait for five seconds and we'll generate another one. So as long as both ends are running within the same time window then they will both have the same value uh, as, as part of the, the one-time password. So we could generate a, a new seed and we'll see the values change this time and so on. So the code we're using comes from the OTP Sharp library and we're using a, a window size of only 5 seconds. 
but we could make it much larger than this. And it's used by the Google Authenticator system at the current time. It will typically run on a mobile phone and it gives you another form of authentication. You might log in with a username and password and then have to generate a unique code based on the time. And so this is a standard method that's defined in the RFC standard 6238. Another standard which is defined uh, in an RFC is uh, the hashed one-time password. And with this what we have is a counter. So the counter moves on so we can have it so that the counter increments each time that we generate a new one, a new password. So we can see here that's when the value is 1, it will go always give us that with the seed of test. This is the next one, the next one, and so on. Or we could generate a new seed. In this case, we'll take Bill. And there's the first password. The second one is that, and so on. So in this case, uh, this is the quote. And again, we're using the OT OTP sharp library. Uh, and we're really just keeping the counter as a session variable and incrementing it each time. OK, so this is shown uh, a very basic uh, introduction to one-time one passwords. Uh, they are increasingly used for two-factor authentication.